what is going on this is your girl Nisha here today giving you guys a brand new video you guys already know but I hope you guys are enjoying your day today as well hope you guys are having a good day having fun but besides that guys I am gonna give you guys a video on the Wolf of Mondays you guys already know uh, continuing playing the game until we beat it and um, we are gonna continue in playing on episode 4 guys because that's where we are at still and uh, yeah and also we gotta continue where we left off from the last gameplay so um, I hope you guys are really liking the game as well and I hope you guys are enjoying it you know too so um, yeah so let's just hop into the game and let's continue the story so I hope you guys do enjoy this video if you guys do Please like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, be down in the description below. And as always, guys, this is your girl Nate Shot. Uh, there. See you guys in the game. Let's get it. Alright, guys, as you can see, um, I have the game in pause. And basically, this is where we left off from the game. If some of you guys don't remember. But, um, yeah. Here we are. Now we just gotta like, we just have to look around. <coughs> it's empty. What's this? Nothing there. Huh? Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. And that's weird too. There's not even nobody in here. <laughs> Very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? <laughs> Nobody do not want to eat that. <laughs> that is for sure. Big oh. Wolf? Somebody is there. What happened to you? I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um, wh what? The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? What? B Bloody Mary? Magic mirror shard? <laughs> what kind of place do you think this is? Don't bullshit me. <laughs> I'm not. What you're looking for, I, I think you'd be better off looking at... Uh, the lucky pond. Yeah, or someplace like that. You know where it is, right? It's around the corner and a few blocks down. I've been there. I didn't find what I was looking for. Had some words with Jersey, too. Words? Anyway, if, if I'd have known you already looked at the lucky pond, I, I, I wouldn't have pointed you there. I, I just figured anything worth a damn in Fable Town goes through Jersey's hands at some point. You know that. Believe me, I don't want to waste your time, Sheriff. And I certainly don't mean to offend. I don't know how else to help. <laughs> Where's the magic mirror shard? Quit fucking around and tell me. I'm, I'm not. I am not fucking around. If you're lying to me, I'm gonna find out. Listen, Crane had the mirror. Mary had Crane. And she comes around here, right? If you're covering for her, I'm gonna have a problem with you. So you better think real hard about what you say next. I... Sheriff, I... <laughs> Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Oh my we'll go god. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Hey, let me push the button. Damn, what the hell? I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. I know he is hiding something. Just wait out front. I I'll be right there. I I've got a bit of a mess back here. 
Relax, Johan. I just want to talk. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. What he's doing? Come on, damn it. I've already told you, damn it. Just give me the magic mirror shard and I'll leave you alone. You can go back to whatever it is you're doing here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh, God, she is gonna fucking kill me. What the hell is doing? He's gonna get me killed. Urgh. Things I do. Use your legs to lift, not your back. Huh? You'll get hurt that way. Now, what the hell are you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. If you don't talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No, no, please. You don't have to do that. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you can keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy even when they got you on a hook in the deep freeze. But it's a hard one to live with. Hey, you mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Ooh, damn. You want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. I'm not allowed to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. Is he going to be able to open it? What the hell? Somebody's blood. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Hmm. Warning lights. It's business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. These lights, Johan. Did you warn them I was here? I had to. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. I needed your help. Well, I'm here now. I'm going to sort this all out. <laughs> so this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Alright, now we gotta switch this around, guys. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You wanna talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Okay. Chains. Who's getting chained up here? 
You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Is this what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons, chains, it's, it's all the fucking same. I just keep on looking. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Okay, let's see what else. Too bad they had time to erase it all. This could have been useful. There's something behind. Nothing. What the hell is that? It looks like a code. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I was well, right. This isn't your code. What's it doing here? It's a coat. What's the big deal about some dirty... Looks like Crane's seen some abuse. I'm sure he handled it just fine. <laughs> Let's see the pockets. Let's see if they have something in there. for traveler's checks, huh? Pocket. <laughs> shard. It's the shard. Oh, it's right Why there. It? Hey, hold on. We found well, it. I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Big B. But what about me? Huh? Do you really think this is gonna be all right? Of all this stuff in here, I do know one thing. That's his icon, his symbol. What kind of a guy uses a torture device as his icon? <laughs> the kind of guy who isn't going to be understanding <clears throat> of Big B Wolf showing himself in. So tell me this. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm going to have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there. And we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Hey, he always smokes. <laughs> it's just, it's just funny. <laughs> he put the size on me real close. <laughs> That's funny. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let him go. I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? She's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <laughs> One moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. <laughs> Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. Yep. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? I gotta say, this thing reaches a lot further than we thought. Crooked Man has something on everybody. 
It wasn't just Beauty and the loan. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pond. Yep. He was even running black market magic out of the butcher shop. But that's over now. Because we got the mirror. And once it's fixed, we got him. That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Sure, no problem. Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Pompous ass. Don't worry. We'll talk soon. You can count on it. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. That's so weird. Where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. I found it at the butcher shop, the cut above. It was in Crane's cone. There was a lot of weird magic going on there. That has something to do with it. Other than that, the last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. Well, how would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think <laughs> I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. <laughs> that's funny. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? <laughs> no. You need some help over there. Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Toad, come here. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? <laughs> Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you, and you can't deny that. My car, total, the gaping maw in my wall, any of us sound familiar? I've written up a bill if you'd like to see it. I'm not looking for a handout, just what's right. I need it, Big B. Look, Crane left us in the lurch here. You just can't be handing out cash unless it's something, you know, urgent. I wish I could help. But... Me and my boy getting shipped off to the farm is pretty bloody urgent to me. That's why I was trying to sell the bloody coat, and Jack was getting ready to crack until you showed up and ruined it. This isn't exactly a new problem with you, Toad. You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in Fable Town. Wouldn't you know it? Colin is going to the farm. Well, I would say each case deserves to be decided on its own uh, merits, don't you think? If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just wanna nope. stay. Sorry. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest of watch. Please, Sheriff. Don't take TJ from the only army knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know it's not right. Burdening the weakest of us like this. Yeah, I went to the farm. Hey, I've been out of glamour from the word go. I have no choice. You and TJ are going to the farm. There's a truck leaving tomorrow. I think you better go break it to your boy. Big B. Look, 
Damages might be a valid complaint, but that's a separate deal. Waylon Smith can see to that. The farm. You're a real friend of the people, Sheriff. <laughs> what a crock of shite. The government buy the fables for the fables, my ass. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. <laughs> well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. I did it. He'll be gone tomorrow. Him and TJ. It may not have felt good, but it was the right thing to do. You know that. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. It's about control. There's one thing I figured out. It's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop. The magic he peddles. Chains. Ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry. I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror. We're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. He's probably still waking up a little. Yeah, I want to see where he's ended up to. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Ooh, Sam. What the hell? How the hell she knows? What happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again. Okay. Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the crooked man. Yep. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? Just show me where I can find the crooked man. I haven't been feeling well of late. Seems neither of us can cooperate. Damn. Perhaps I can be of assistance? <clears throat> Mirror, mirror, keep us sane. Show the door to Crooked Man's domain. <laughs> I can always count on you, Buffkin. I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. What the hell? The door. It moves. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. This can't be like it was with Tweedledum. I don't care if it gets out of hand. You don't let it come to that. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here. Alive. And we can clean them and cook them together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. <laughs> yeah, bye. We gotta go find him, guys. It's already night time. Oh, he's running. 
It's right there. Oh. What the hell? Somebody's coming. Abby, it needs me to be on side. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. You'd think I'd have outgrown that centuries ago. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. What is this place? Or where is it? I know I'm not in Central Park anymore. I'm not sure. I've never <laughs> come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street. But you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so... If you'll come this way... Look. This is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. Fine. Lead on. Uh uh. This is not good. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. Tim. How can you be working here? You know who this guy is, don't you? He's not... He's not as bad as you think. He doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job. And I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. I understand the position you're in, but you don't have to do this. There are other things you could do. So it's just that easy? Maybe not, but you don't want to be a part of this. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Thanks. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Mate, Go ahead. You got a job to do. It's the wo Sheriff Wolf, sir. What the hell? They all involved? Even him, too? Thank you. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Is that Thank him? You, you see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. <clears throat> All right, you got me here. Let's talk. Oh, snap. All right, guys. That's the end of the episode. It's about you. What's gonna happen? In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, scream! The wolf is coming. And they would wait. 
hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. Oh, well. Oh, snap. That is just crazy. <laughs> so now, guys, we actually did found um, who is the the person, the, the cookman man, whatever his name is. At least now we know who he is. So now we just got to find out. Ness, you know what's gonna happen so yeah <laughs> it is getting good <laughs> so there you go guys there you have it that was the end of episode 4 I'm happy you know, we be episode four. Woo! <laughs> so now um, we are up to episode five, guys. So that's gonna be the last episode. No, but <laughs> it is what it is, guys. But um, like I said, like you know, it's really getting intense. Like now, you know, since it's the last episode, I just really want to know what's gonna happen. You know, so I know it's gonna be crazy, but. We just had to wait and see, guys. But I hope you guys are enjoying the game with me, cause um, like I said, it, it's it's really getting good. Um, the story and I, I really am enjoying it. So um, yeah, guys. But I hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys, if you guys do enjoy this video, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, be down in the description below. And as always, guys, this is a good night shot. Uh, see ya. See you guys in this uh in the next video. And I will see your coaches' faces later. Peace, guys. <laughs>